Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another restoration video on our 245. Last month we did this horrible rotten battery cable change and then a week ago I discovered my front timing seals were leaking a lot of oil out and that was once we got the car running. So now Nick and I are going to take on the timing belt job. This is part one of two. It's going to be fun, a little bit too goofy, but stick around, you should have a good time. Alright. Oh, well, now you messed it up. Why? Because now that you turn it off, it's not going to start to Oh, save. geez. All right. What was your question? Oh, by the way, Nick's here to help. Hey, Nick. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Nico and Magnifico. Well, now Nicky Bobby. Nicky Bobby. <laughs> yeah, you're always coming up with, like, you're topping each one each time. Um, you like my battery cable? I do. Because my terminals are flipped, so I just I went do. to the side there. You know, I was going to say, too, while watching the video, uh, if you wanted to take any wires, I have Larry. That's right. <laughs> Because everything in Larry is not going to be used. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna do it a full big old V8. Big old V8. A Jags that run that's the website. Um, yep. This the oils. You know, it's on the front of the cam gear, and you can't really tell that there's oil on the uh, belt. But the fact that it's all over the gears, it's it's yeah. in the belt. You know, that all belt's right. probably really absorbent. I've had them break from. Uh, I mean, you could before. you could see right if we had more light, you could see right here how yeah. it's just caked up on the cover, and then down here on the top. Where the where the head meets the water outlet housing, Horrible. it's just caked in oil. She dripping, she leaking, stumbling. So as we were remarking earlier, this thing is it runs quietly, sort of. It idles smoothly, which is good. Now that I've plugged up the leaks, we sprayed some brake cleaner in, and it seems to be nice. We've got an hour of sunlight, which is proof that two guys and an hour of light can get this timing belt off easily. So let's do it. The most difficult and frustrating part of this job really presents itself up front, and that would be getting the fan off because those four little studs that are attached to the front of the water pump have kind of difficult access and they strip very easily, especially if it's been a couple of years since they've been removed. My suggestion, get a six point wrench on there. Don't mess around with 12 points or, or even an open ended wrench because they're more likely going to strip. We had that problem here and our vice grips weren't able to pull it off so it would be easier to get the radiator out of the way to do this job now. There's like one pint of coolant in this engine. So I'm glad I didn't take it on the road. I didn't I, even check. I think didn't that's a even. I think that's a generous statement to say there's a pint in it, right? Yeah. All right nice down. radiator, it's all brass. Ooh. No plastics. One, two, um... So we're down to the one. Just the one. And so let's tighten those ones kind of back up. Sure. And so much more room now. Well, we still gotta get this off. I know, oops, but this will give us some more room for your hand. Let's see. That's all I was thinking, was just more room for your, for your little hands. Do you wanna, hey, cool, you can just, oh nice, I could just buy a clutch. And keep that because one of the junkers has got a newer clutch, but it's uh, broken plastic fins. Yeah. Yay! Whoa, did you see how much metal flake is in that? How much stop leak is in this? What do we have? Ugh. See how that like the silvery aluminum. Silvery yeah. aluminum stuff. That's all your stop leak to help it stop leaking. That makes me feel great. <laughs> I hope I'm not doing a heater core. Hey, if you're doing it, I'll do it with you, and then that way we can do Larry together. True, I feel like I owe you that. <laughs> That'll be the third time I had to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened? Well, the first time it didn't work. It was rerouted, and I really didn't care, and uh, like I rolled with it. And then the next winter was when I really needed it, and so I went on ahead and did it that time. So I think I've only had to do it twice, but I don't want to do it a third time. Throw me a bone. All right. Yeah, I'll hold this side. We're gonna go this way. Which way is it spinning? So yes. I can close my eyes. Let's see if we can break it off now. Nah, go some more. You're only like halfway through. Uh, Promise. Hang on, hang on, Gary, you want me to do it? No, I don't like the way that it's spinning the other way, so I'm being a baby. I'm being a, a real baby girl. Do you need to put down your purse? Yeah. <laughs> I need a safe space. No, but it rotated, so it rotated. Whatever. whatever. Alright. Do it, do it. Oh, come on now. Get the hammer.
No, 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 no. We still have some head on that. It's okay. That's okay. All right, pal. Got it. All right, so like a third of the time was spent on <laughs> the silliest beginning. All right, um, I will loosen. Oh, Rick, I found the bolt. It, it didn't drop all the way down. It landed right on the crank. Nice. <laughs> All right, time the, to loosen the, the belts. I'll take uh, care aren't of you replacing them. But, but look at this one. This one's got a good crack in it. Yes, I'll replace them, Nick. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was gonna say is cut them. Oh no, don't! No. I still gotta loosen them because I gotta put the new belts on. Right. Okay. Work on the uh, power steering belt. I'll gotcha. take off. Where's a thirteen? Something. Gotta be careful with these alternators because they're always breaking mounts. You never want them too tight. That's my biggest issue is that I ever tighten them. If they're loose, they'll squeak, and then just tighten them until they stop squeaking. Do you ever have an issue where the bolts broke on the adjuster? The adjuster bolt broke? Uh, no, I'd almost prefer that to the actual. <laughs> uh, it's still it's troublesome. Yeah, for sure. If they're not, there's loose. Then we'll just pop all these off. And a 24. For the crank, let's see, please. Yeah! I didn't speak too soon. You spoke too late. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! On behalf of everyone else. Ugh. You good? Hey, hey, this water pump ain't too old, is she? Only since 180,000 miles. All right. Oh, but I have to show this. Don't let it snap out. Yeah, because yeah. that little plastic thing's broken before. What do you got there? So, all of this is a good sign that your cam shaft seal is leaking. All right in there. Just in case you don't know. <laughs> all right. Hold on. The brakes are good still, right? Thankfully, you don't need a puller for these kinds of crank pulleys. Hey, I'm gonna roll it forward, back. Yeah, forward. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh, we never disconnected the uh, battery. Ooh. All right, go ahead and let her back a little bit. That's good there. Dang man, I'll tell you what, I'll down disconnect that battery cable and no negative, I'm saying. Besides, it's always been one of my fears, like, you watched Breaking Bad, right? Yeah. When he walks up to the BMW, to the guy at the gas station, and, and he, like, he's like, Rah! and he puts, the, puts it in between the terminals, and it shorts out and causes right. the car to go on fire, and Walter oh, White yes. walks away with his, like, I'm Walter White face. Do you know who I am? Lower timing cover now. Boy, this is, let's, bring, let's bring the mat Yeah, here. I agree. There's a 10 millimeter ten right shock and a 10 right. Right, and those, those hold the wires. Yeah, the ones on the bottom hold the wire. And the vacuum lines. It's an EVAP line, isn't it? There's the uh, vacuum oh. line from this. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, look at all that oil. Oh, uh, oh. there's a roll of paper towels. Okay. I'm not marking any of these bolts because we all know where everything goes. It's pretty simple. That's a cool VW bus, a camper bus at that, too. Yeah. One day I'll go talk to them and be a good neighbor. We just exchange glances. Nods. No, 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 no just, nods. Just judging looks. <sighs> Volvo. Yeah. BMW. Yeah. I would still love to get a camper one like that. And I'd just get one to sell it. Yeah, but I would I would want to put a Porsche motor in it. You know what? An air-cooled one. Let's talk Volkswagen for a minute. And I'll say it in 10 seconds. Volkswagen is the pop music of classic cars. Yeah. Everyone's supposed to like it. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, they're cool, I get it, but like the, the hyperinflation. Well, I mean, it's okay. The only good boxer, you know, boxer motor cars come in the back of a car. Yes. So I hate to burst your bubble there. I'm not a Subaru fan by any means. <laughs> okay, timing covers out. Sorta. On its way. Ugh. <laughs> All right, she's still in one piece though. She's not terribly deformed. All right, so that's our front cap thing. So the uh, FCP Someone's Euro. been in here before. Oh, of course, it's been changed a few yeah. times. FCP Euro's got a timing belt with the three seals. No water pump, no idler pulley, which I don't think we're gonna need. We'll, we'll give it a spin in a moment. And that's like 35 bucks. Lifetime warranty, which means as soon as it breaks or you replace it just at a normal service interval, they give you a new one. So I'm buying all my stuff from them, even coolant. I'm buying a genuine BMW coolant. It's 18 bucks a gallon, whereas 
Everywhere else, it's thirty-two dollars a gallon. Even the generic AutoZone blue coolant is thirty-two bucks, and it's like all I do is give them the old coolant back in the bottle, and you ship it back to them. Yeah, it? yeah, you ship all your fluids back. Every oil change, every filter, every brake pad. Do you want the cover for that? This is not the right bolt, is it? No. <laughs> what is this bolt? Uh, oh, I, I think. Oh, this is. These are the bolts for the. Uh, the bumper. Oh. <laughs> I just put the biggest thing <laughs> oh, We won't need that cover bolt on. We'll just do this. All right, so we're gonna get this back in and then we'll time it at uh, top dead center. Ugh. That's gross. That's gross, my friend. We're in full slushy mode today. Dude. We are in full slush mode. Don't eat the yellow slush, though. Et voila. Et voila. Hey, you got more? I've never timed it, but I think you can empty a can of brake cleaner in 60 seconds. They always seem to run out quickly, so if you can, right. buy them in bulk. <laughs> did you grab your phone so I could show you? We cleaned all, all of it with all sorts of brake cleaner. We did a whole bunch of, you know, this stuff. Yeah, it was fun. Well, and, then, um, and then we timed how much cans, how many cans we could go through. It's about 40 seconds to 50 seconds a can. 40 seconds a can. So then you want to set the time. I so did 40 seconds a can in college. <laughs> then right here is your timing gear for your intermediate shaft and for your oil pump and also for your distributor. Important. And then up here at the top is your cam and your cam gear and you're going to match this dot to that mark right here. 11 p.m. And... Or is it 11 a.m.? Uh, I don't know. At times what times you're drinking it. <laughs> then you have your dot here on your crank, your mark, and you're going to line it with this mark right here. It's like a rib or a line. Right. Brilliant. And what you're going to find, too, when you get your new timing belts is that you're going to have new timing marks on the belt. So you're going to want to match the line on the belt yeah. to the dot in this gear to that mark there. You have two single lines and then a double line. Yeah. Double and line. The third, the second single line goes on your intermediate shaft. 3 p.m. And your third line will go about right here. 11.30? Kind of marking it. Yeah. So if you line up the first two, I never really worry about the third one. Yeah. That's the tricky one, is you want exactly the right number of teeth in your belt between your cam and your intermediate shaft. Yeah, if you're worried between about, dots, you want that many teeth. If you're worried about being on the wrong stroke of compression, you're not gonna, you don't, because this will be off 180 if you're on the uh, compression, or exhaust stroke versus the compression stroke. Whereas, you know, that will line up twice per full cycle. All right, um, water pump looks great, so I'm gonna buy the FCP kit. It's like 35 bucks, lifetime warranty, anytime you need to replace it for any reason. Um, let's say it breaks, or you're just ready for the next change, or you're going in there and you're thinking, hey, I'm doing other seals, may as well replace the timing belt. Send it back to them, it's a full warranty item. Doesn't matter, do not matter. Just don't cut it, don't break it yourself. What are we doing now? We're just pulling off. Timing belt. Yeah, Right. oh, that's all. And then we'll take off the back cover and we'll see how poor those oil seals are. Today's episode of the Volvo Rescue is brought to you by Hot Hands. Hot Hands. Slogan goes here. <laughs> hot Hands. There's more than one way to get your hand hot. Let us do it for you. Hot Hands. Shake to activate. Just like your Hot Hands. Toasty buns are so 2017. Hot Hands. Because nobody likes moist hands. Oh, I think yeah. that's on there. Do they have a <laughs> Have they got their own? Right. Yeah, uh, their slogan is Calentadores de Manos. Oh. Spicy hands. No. And there she is. Hey, here's an important thing. Look at your um, harmonic balancer. That's the one because it's going to have cracks in it. And uh, if they split, then your engine will run, but your belt ain't going to spin. Yeah, that's a huge deal. I've had that separate in that bushing. Yeah. Yeah. The easiest way to remove the belt tension is grab some of these babies and give them a squeeze, babies. Gotta loosen that up. I didn't loosen that. Hot hands. <laughs> All right, squeeze okay. this and uh, we can tighten it too if you want. Yep, that's then... always good. So then, the, then we oh. don't have to have four hands doing that. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah. Wow, I never figured that out. I was just t tag teamed it. Somehow. Yeah, so I don't, that's well, because I've done this many a times by myself. Wow. So I like to, that's why I was saying get a pry bar. Dude, that's loosen hilarious. Loosen it, pry it, ah. tighten it down, and now let go. No, I always use this as an so, excuse. So now if, you're, now, if you're keeping your tensioner, 
you can like if this is still good yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still there you don't have to remove it at all that's great. now your timing is set all the way around and now all you do is pull your belt you're gonna have to make sure you have tension all right in here and tension all right in here all the way up to here and all of your slack is gonna be in between the tensioner and the rest of the way up so that way when the tensioner goes back down it pops it back on I'm glad you're not making YouTube videos because the way you explained it, I'd be out of business. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Hot heads! <laughs> right, well, would you like to uh, do the honors here sure. and pull the belt off? Start from the top. Gosh, I really want them to sponsor me. <laughs> I don't care what it is, just send me a pack of Hot Hands, Hot Hands. Wow, that was so easy. And just like that, it rolled yeah. right off. You made it effortless. Hey, are those marks there? Let's see. Um, probably not. No. This is a. Uh... I've never it's seen one of Very marks. worn. Well, not even a brand. Yeah, so no, it's all it's it's that washed off. You have a couple thousand, you know, thousand miles on it. You have the oil that has bled out, heated up onto there. Yeah. So everything is kind of keeping it from being seen. Look at those cracks. Yep, she's old. Now, if this belt is from 180,000 miles, then it's got 137,000 miles on it. That's about right for the service life of these belts. <laughs> oh goodness, look at the back side of that. Now granted, this side never shows this bend. It never makes this bend. All the bending is done this way. What's up, Nico? I was gonna say too, you know, when you're setting the timing, you can always look at the distributor, you know, which one is one. Follow your, your spot. Yeah, number table. one. Number one is always on the uh, thermostat hole, bolt, bolt. Yeah, so if we were to take the cap off, bolt. it would be aiming at it. Uh, you know what, I may as well do a thermostat while I'm here. Gosh, I had so many, I gave them all away. Isn't that funny? I don't know if it's good, but there's one in the back of Larry. I'll buy a new one. Okay. We'll have to have warranty through FCP. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's it, that's our job for tonight. Last thing we're gonna check is uh, how bad is our idler pulley? And let me tell you folks, I have never seen these go bad unless you live in a rusty, rusty climate, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Connecticut, and anything in between. Pretty much everything east of the Rockies and north of Col uh, New Mexico. <laughs> so if you don't live in or Arizona, New Mexico, Southern California, you're gonna want to replace that probably. And I love that the tensioner is just a spring. Yay! Thanks, Nick, so much for coming out today. Absolutely. We had an hour of work. Hey, what's this? Old work. Oh, that's the Milwaukee heated jacket. Milwaukee, you want to sponsor me? I'll be happy to rock your stuff. We like Milwaukee tools. Hot heads. <laughs> the easiest thing about this uh, job is, of course, having a friend to, to work with, and uh, there's very few components total for the whole thing. Check out your belts, too, while you're at it. Oh, these, were, these are the bad ones here. These are the bad ones, yeah. Yeah, for the alternator. Uh, remember, don't over-tighten these belts, because they are absolutely going to break. Oh, yeah, there's a missing chunk there. Um, if you over-tighten the belts on the alternator, it will break the mount in the block, and then you'll have to fabricate a plate like I did on my other 240 wagon. It's no fun. Or like I had to do on Larry. Yeah, yeah. Every uh, every time we overdo it, that's what happens. So, gosh, Larry was fun. I missed that car. Now, look at this. It is going to be so much more fun soon. Go ahead and push down on it. I want to show just how, how sloppy... Look how easy it is for old Nick there to just... Bounce the front of this. <laughs> this thing is gonna be a boat. Anyway, I'm really excited to get some shine out of here. I, I bought a um, can of new finish. We're gonna see how that works. <gasps> Two things. What's up, pal? I have a T cam. A T cam? A T cam. I have a B cam. And a turbo manifold. But I've got a turbo manifold. What do I do with that? <sighs> Where do I put my oil drain? Hmm? <laughs> Into the pan. Oh, gosh. Hey, um, FCP, if you want to sponsor Senor David Billow. Aw, oh, shoot, because I'm buying so many parts for both this car and my fleet of BMWs, the S60R, a couple of Amazons, and, you know. Just a few Volvos. Just a few Volvos and BMWs and other European models that come and go here. Shameless so, plugs, you know. Yeah. Yeah, shameless plugs should be a hair brand. Oh, I'm thinning in my 40s. Don't worry, get shameless plugs. <laughs> No one has to know. <laughs> Let's pull these things off because we we, okay. we, gotta, we gotta get the seals off. Because okay. that's the whole point. Of... That's the whole point.
Oh, shnikes. What's up? Did you spin it? Yeah, that's okay. Just uh, tighten the bolt and get her back into... Oh. Yeah. Where, where is my polka dot? Where is my polka dot? Where, 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 where is my dot at? Cam gear, bolt, pulley, and on the back side, washer. Very important. That washer. And, oh no, look at that. Oh no. This cover's gotta come off, so nice trick, but we gotta undo it. Well, that's not if you, okay, that's a good trick if you're only just gonna do. Yeah, that. You should always change your seals. We should always change your seals, just like your underwear. Okay, let's get this bolt. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we need is a cotter pin or something to, something small to stick in there. We forgot to uh, stick a thing in the thing. Well, that's why I have a couple kids. Cause... So uh, that's, you know, under a lot of pressure and weight, so we're just gonna under go pressure. leave that off to the side there. Cool. Uh, now, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, Don't worry about that. Just pull it off. Uh, I just wanted to make you sure want, it was You won't hurt the distributor. <laughs> no, I know, I just... Okay. Well, okay, when you put it back on, you gotta... You gotta make sure... Oh, gee. Look at this side. Um, hey, at least this is in one piece. Yeah. Hey, where's that brake cleaner? You ready to make an encore performance? Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, that's a cool method. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's an old, old graffiti guy's trick. <laughs> oh, show, show the camera. Yeah, that's brilliant, dude. This, you're gonna wanna remove the crank bolt. Yes. Because you're gonna wanna replace the What if I what if I put the crank bolt on and while I was timing the engine, it's so tight now that I'm gonna counterclockwise rotate the crank to mm. remove it. I Is that gonna if be I a just problem? Did that. Oh no, you're fine. But you did. I did, I did, huh? You'll see once you remove that bolt. Yeah. Her timing marks just went counterclockwise. And so a what you'll do is you'll just tighten it back a little. And what I would do... But, Nick, what if you go too far? Will your pistons hit your valves? No. <laughs> not on these. Not Why on. not? Because it's not an intermediate or an interference. interference motor. Wow, that's a great reason to buy these cars. <laughs> if you're worried about rotating counterclockwise, this is how you get it off. This is the best way. Brilliant. Way that is the best way. Why? Oh, because I like to save my battery life. Oh, that's nice. Batteries have reduced performance in the winter. <laughs> well, the last thing we're gonna do is clean up around this seal here. Watch your eyes. That's all just to make it easier for me later. Watch my eyes get brake cleaner. Okay. Oh. And then these. These will slide right Wait, off. Does it look the same on the back side in case we mix it up? No. Oh, interesting. The difference is that you have that there. Yeah. Oh, it's weird, I'm aiming through the camera, so I have horrible reactions. <laughs> hey, uh, is that plate the same as the first plate? It is. Wow. But you still <laughs> wanna make sure you put them on in order. Looks like we had a little weeping around our crank pulley seal. <laughs> now, yeah, look, it's coming out right here. Oh yeah. It's pushed out. Actually, that might be a sealant used to keep the seal from popping out because I've had them pop out in the past. True. That True. last retainer plate that we pulled out is not enough to keep that seal in place because it's not flush with the seal surface. If yes. it were, it would wear it out, of course, because it rotates constantly. Okay. Uh, 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 nah, dude, this is pushing out. The seal is pushing out? Yeah, that's cooked oil. You think so? Huh. Okay, That's there's that aircraft out. grade sealer. I'm gonna go pick up some of that. What uh, color is it? I think it's a white paste. This is black. Of course. So that's definitely uh, a leak. Great, and look at that, it's leaking from the outside, not from the inside. Interesting. So another great reason why you should clean your flame trap is if you start getting positive mm -hmm. crankcase ventilation, like let's say your engine's got over 230,000 miles, it's making its return trip from the moon. It's gonna build some excess pressure and it'll come out from the weakest link, either this seal, that seal, or our top seal. Which isn't getting any love on the camera, but that's okay. I should warn you when I'm doing this, but it's okay. much more fun to just see what happens. <laughs> that's how lawsuits happen. 
All right, that's it. Well, we're gonna leave her here. I don't wanna pull the seals out and have them wait overnight, but once the seals come out, you can guarantee part two of this video will be, uh, will be up in a couple days. So I'm gonna place my order through FCP, lifetime warranty, because I love those guys. And uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. I think now we're finally ready. There we go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this. I mean, you know you can, you know, this leaks too sometimes. Yes, it does. Is it right now? I don't want to know. I mean, it's hard to tell if it's that seal or if it's these. Yeah. You know. Up here, this looks beautiful. It almost doesn't look like it's no, spitting out. No, that's totally leaking unless it's the valve cover. That's what I'm wondering. It could be the corner, the very corner, but that would that would come out more here versus coming out down. When you do the your side. valve cover on this, a of little course, tricky trick, squeeze some silicone in there if you don't yeah, know how to know yeah. that. The old uh, old uh, domestic guys would do that on their oil pans too. Anyway, this new light here was from Pep Boys, four dollars. Hot hands, Ram chargers. Oh, right. I was gonna say something about hot hands. Yeah. Uh, too much brake cleaner in my life has made me forget. All right. <laughs> Special thanks, Nick. You're welcome. You're your pal. Absolutely. And, uh, the, sun, glad. the sun is down. Well, you missed the sandias. The, uh, we should have. We should have caught those when it was orange. Yeah. Well, our slush is turning into ice, and we'll see you guys in a couple days. But my toes too. Coming at you live from the back seat area. We've got a, a challenge on our hands. We can't get this open. And I asked the previous owner. He's never had it open. Huh? And he's supposedly you know, the second or third owner of the car. What are you doing back there? Just uh, trying to figure out if it's worth it to get a girlfriend or not. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I say, I brought my light with me. That's rather convenient. Dave, you're always thinking ahead, aren't you? Rather subconsciously, I'd say. We'll just try to pull some things. Whoa. Hello. Oh. Hello. <gasps> Hello. Did she stay up? Yeah, Hello. but the latch is in. Here, here's the light. Do you want to wanna peek around? It's the, uh, the very first thing is just what I pulled toward me. It's basically where the uh, handle would go. Yeah, the lever's not hooked up. This broke joke. Broke. Hey, let's see what's in here. We're expecting some goodies. Let me get out. Ugh. Oh. Don't drop Phil. <laughs> Old Phil. Old Phil. Large Marge. <laughs> By the way, that rug that we've been standing on is my new cargo mat for here. I got oh, it from yeah. the back of a Honda. Oh, <gasps> hello. <Whoa. laughs> well, well, Christmas came twice. <laughs> oh, look, a fuel pump. Wow. The fuel pumps? Fuel filters? <gasps> what? what the limited this? release Colgate Wave? What? Solenoid for the overdrive. Oh, wow. for the transmission. That's a meaty J type right there, yeah, baby. Uh -huh. Apparently, wrap that back in there. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Meow. New new belt. Um, cup two new belts. Great. A whole other distributor. This is cool. Um, I have a box of parts, but it's more space than this. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Oh look, another idle air control motor. Mm -hmm. And a three plug. Yep, that's a LH2.2. Easiest way to tell is it's not an, a right angle, it's gonna be a through pass. Cool. These, you got some spark pluggies. Oh. Autolite, the brand of champions. It's from 1972. Let's take a look in that spare wheel well where the butt cheeks live and, you know, if we're lucky a thing or two might live under here. What's in these? Okay, nothing really that exciting except the DL logo that fell off the side. Just put that on the down low. Yeah. Cool. All right, butt cheek number one is checked. Let's check about butt cheek number two. This is like Storage Wars, but I already own it. Oops, uh, watch that car in there. Oh, oh, glory, glory. All plastic. Wow, that's a meaty toe cable. That's some legit ball loaders. Yeah. Oh, I didn't break it off, did I? No, 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 that was just sitting in there. Hold Any, up. Anything behind it? Hold up. Focus. Must be go. a Nissan tire. <laughs> SR. <laughs> but it's it's the full spare. And anything else in the butt cheek? Nothing. Nothing. Just the uh, just this. No. No rust. No rust. Nothing. Oh, we got the straps. Nothing. Let's pull the straps out and then I'll, okay. I'll strap it over your mic. Okay. 
Well, we did it. The hatch struts are staying open, and you know what? There's yeah, no that's... rust. There's not. There's not any rust on the bottom of the hatch here. That's, that's really nice. That's what's really nice is that there's yeah. no struts are staying open. Interesting. I wonder if that's like a spring attachment piece. I wonder, yeah, but in what here, is that? it's probably the spring for in here. But then, when you, if you can see with the camera from my angle. No, what, is, what do you see? Um, I'm looking at the latch that's flopping around. Is it this? No. In here? It's right in here, through that little hole. Where's the Phillips? Felipe! Okay. So right here, right in here, you have the broken part. Possible to get a light in there. If only that light was clear. <laughs> oh, you mean like the flash on the phone? <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm ready, I'm ready to call it because it's getting chilly. Yeah, so No, don't close it yet. Don't close it. We got to put the tire away. Oh, yeah. And then we'll have to climb in every time we want to open it. You probably have like two 10 millimeter screws. This is like the that. least molested panel on the whole car. Also, you might need to undo yeah, those. Of course, of course. Um, the slit here in the back of the seal is actually to let water drain out. It's not a, it's not a broken thing. All right, and uh, gosh, we've got more endings than the Return of the King, so. Uh, you should leave all the endings in there. Yeah, oh yeah. And count yeah. them. Yeah, no, that's why I was just ending said. Ending number one. <laughs> <laughs> Great, uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, enjoy your six minutes of bonus content here. Goodbye, and in case I don't see you, uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, hey Nick, I'm gonna grab a towel so that uh, we don't have to latch the hatch and I don't have to climb in the back since all the parts are there, okay? Like to keep it blocked? Yeah. Why don't you just do this? Wait a second. It should stay right there, right? So then just close her down. Whoa. Because you got to replace all that anyways. I learned something new. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and Bobby, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for the lighting there. That's exactly what I needed. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello.